So I'm Gary Whitaker for uh, The Way In. Of course, this is Eve the Tiger Jab Wang, who's about to be, even though he's been the WEC, this is your official UFC debut. Uh, first off, you know you have a really tough opponent here in uh, Pablo Garza. Uh, I want to talk to us about your opponent and uh, what you think that you're going to be facing against a guy like him who's coming in with only one loss. Uh, definitely. Uh, looking into Pablo Garza, uh, his last win was... Uh the devastating knockout with a flying knee. At this height, the knees come really fast, so it's going to be it's going to be a big challenge for me. Now, do you think he's seen some of your spectacular uh, punches, kicks, and everything else? I mean, you know that the tape is out, the footage is out. I mean, I think the fans could be expecting a potential fight of the night. You looking at that bonus money right now? I don't want to talk about that. You know, I'm not going into the fight thinking about the money. You know, otherwise I wouldn't be in the sport. Okay. Um, but uh, but definitely, I see I see it as a very very interesting fight. Um, six for one is going to be is going to be a little bit of a reach uh, a, a reach. He's going to have a reach advantage on me. I'm going to have to be careful with that. Although I'm very uh, uh, used to fighting taller guys, uh, I think that's a little bit of my advantage. I have a lot of experience when it comes to that. Uh, like you say, he's uh, just just like I've seen the footage. He's seen the footage, so it's not gonna be that easy to catch me with that flying knee. So now I, I gotta ask you because uh, on that same card is gonna be a guy that you had one of the most spectacular fights against. You have Mark Hominick who's gonna be fighting for the title. I want to know, you know, inside of you as a tiger, do you get you know all all uh, you know lined up, if you will, thinking that hey, you know that could have been you or that could be you maybe next year? Uh, you know, like. The tiger is just a cat outside of the outside of the cage. So, I'm. Uh, I wish Hominick all the best. I mean, uh, I think he's got the tools to, to to give it a good fight. I I don't know how to, I don't know what to call this fight, but I think Hominick has has the reach. Uh, he studies. He's a very very smart fighter. So I think uh, he's gonna bring something different, something that Aldo hasn't seen before. Although Aldo being Aldo, it's it's gonna be a tough night for Hominick. And uh, who knows if how many takes it? It's gonna be it's, it's something. It's good for me, you know, because uh, I might get a chance at the title uh, the, right there. So, so I wish Hominick all the best, and uh, we'll see what's gonna happen on on on, on that, with that fight. All right, now you know all your fans are wishing you all the best. You want to have a message out through all of them, and of course, any sponsors you want to shout out as well. Uh, I want to I want to start by thanking all my sponsors: uh, Hayabusa, uh, Muscle Farm, uh, Head Rush. Um, man, there's so many more. I can't remember. Um, uh, adrenaline tattoo. Um, uh, Jesus Christ, man! All my training partners, my coach, uh, my uh, my family. Everybody has been behind me since the beginning. Uh, without them, I wouldn't be here. So uh, that's basically it. And uh, for the fans, you know, I always bring what I always bring to the cage. It's fireworks. So expect the fireworks, 4th of July, baby. <laughs> all right, you know what? I know you're a family man. I know you're doing this all for the family. So I wish you all the best of luck at UFC 129. Thank you.